So, Sonia, thanks for coming and joining me here at uh, Project Hope. Sonia, you're, you do something. What do you do? <laughs> Tell me about what the, you do. I'm the director of Net Energy Housing. There you go. <laughs> at the yeah. Canadian Home Builders Association. All right. So you said you got some questions for me. I do. Yes, I came out here to check out your fantastic project. Yeah. We're very impressed with it, and we love when we see builders giving back to the community, as a lot yeah. of them do. Yeah. And so I wanted to come out here and ask you, how does a build like this bring the community together? Wow. Um, we've actually had over 600 volunteers that will, by the end of next uh, tomorrow night, take part in this project. Wow. But it's just everybody, I think, wants to feel part of something bigger, right? And so when I've asked people, they just don't tend to say no. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good. So why are you so passionate about giving back to your community? And tell me a little bit more about what this project's all about. Well, for me, it was just really uh, the one in a million. You know, we had a situation where this happened to, to Johnny, and we, I was there at his visitation, and I saw Angela, and I was like, no, we, we, we're home builders. We take care of this thing, right? And that was it. It was just flash in my head. We're going to build a house. And then I thought, wow, if we're going to make it interesting, let's let's make it really challenging. So let's do it in three days, oh, right? Because I, you know, I knew that James had done that, so it's easy. You, you can get that done in three days. So then I thought, well, let's make it harder. We'll make it a net zero ready house. That's right? what I was just going to ask you yeah. to put it all into perspective yeah. for my visit. Here is. How do you even assure a house that's built in three days can meet that level of performance? I think that this house might end up being the most inspected house we've ever built. <laughs> we actually embedded building officials right into the process, right at the very beginning. Two of the very first guys I asked to be on board with this was, yeah. was uh, <clears throat> and, uh, Leon Bach, who's okay. the CBO from Central Logan, and Jamie Okowski, the building inspector here in St. Thomas. And I went to him and I said, I'm about to jump off a really tall bridge and I, I want you crazy buggers to do it with me. <laughs> and they said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm building the house in three days and you're going to inspect it. And they're like, you're going to do what? Wow. And they said, all right, we're in. Fantastic. So have they been here the whole time? Yeah, yeah. They've been in rotating shifts. There's about four of them doing it. Wow, fantastic. So like, as Leon said, you know, a lot of times the job site, they don't get to see every nail getting put in. They were watching every single wall that was being built. Incredible. Yeah, we actually had uh, an engineer because we had to fly the roof on. Yeah. We had an engineer on site that actually watched the entire construction of the roof, and then the building inspector still did a walkthrough on it as well. So it was doubly inspected. The engineer did not leave until the final nail on the roof was in. That's amazing. Yeah. So now I have to ask also because I know that there's going to be some technical people wanting to know a net zero ready home. Yeah. In three days. Yeah. Are you doing a pre drywall blower door, or did you do one, or when nah, you plan on doing it? You we're good. You feel good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're good. You've been watching all the details. Oh yeah, watching the details. Yeah, we had Great Northern Installation do uh, spray foam underneath the floor. Yep. Uh, they foamed the belt yesterday and watched the air barrier details, so it's following our methodologies. We're pretty good with it, so Fantastic. we're pretty confident. We actually are doing the blower door test tonight about 9 o'clock. Oh, well, you're going to have to text me the results. Yeah, I'm yeah, for so sure. keen to hear how that I'm goes. I'm hoping we're going to be doing high fives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will be. I'm yeah. sure you will be. So do you have any more community projects planned for 2017 or are you going to take a break for a while? Um, actually, we're doing a, about a million dollar project with the City of St. Thomas and another developer in the health unit on expansion of the trail systems here in St. Thomas. So it's actually happening right behind us here is one okay. of the trails running from Elm Street all the way along this wood lot here. Okay. And then it connects into the trail that's there and then it goes all the way across to the other side of St. Thomas. Fantastic. So we're probably a couple hundred thousand dollars into that project this year as well. Wow, and yeah. when's that supposed to be finished? Uh, probably all done uh, 2018, but a big chunk of ours is gonna be done in 2017. Great, and are you yeah. gonna do a, a ribbon cutting for that as well? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing it and for being so involved in your community. Yeah, thank you.